I'm, are you okay? I just let myself in. I'm sorry. That's, uh, I'm in so much pain right now. What's wrong? I, I'm just in so much pain from my surgery. Did you press the pump? Yeah, I keep clicking it. I'm, but it's, I'm still well, in so much pain. Well, did you click it hard? Yeah, I think I'm clicking it really hard. Well, well, use the palm of your hand. It works. Hard. The other nurse didn't tell me to do this. Oh, it works. I'm telling you. I've got experience. I've got, like, I got a lot of experience. Let's just say that. Um, anyways, well, this drug kicks in in about an hour or like 30 an minutes. An hour? 30 minutes. I'm going to say 30 minutes. Is it an hour or is it 30 minutes? Um, I'm in so much pain. Well, I can't remember right now, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 minutes. Yeah, so you're just going to have to wait about 30 minutes, but right when 30 minutes hits, that pain just flees. Like, it goes away. Like, it seriously. will? Yeah. Are you in any pain right now, still? Yeah, I'm still in pain. You're still in pain. How tall are you again? Like, 5'10". Well, then you're a big girl. You should handle it. But it, it still hurts so bad. I mean, so Didn't much you pain. Just, well, they just took out your tonsils. That's it, right? No, I had a hysterectomy. A hysterectomy? What's a hysterectomy? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the pain should go away in like 30 to an hour minutes. So, 30 to 60 minutes. So you're good. 60 minutes with all this pain? Well, I think if you move a lot, it'll just go right through your veins and it just like kick in real quick. So I should move a lot? Yeah, just move a lot. Just move. Okay. It has been an hour since I've seen you, and I'm still in so much pain. It's gonna be okay. You said that the last time you were here. Yeah, but it's been only 30 minutes, so the meds should be working in 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes? Yeah, you're gonna be okay. How do you know? It's not working. I'm still in pain. I keep pushing it like you showed me. It's. Yeah, it's gonna work for sure. I what don't do think it's working. It's it, it just push really hard, and um, I'll be back in thirty minutes to check you out again. Thirty more minutes? Yeah, it's trust me. You gotta trust me. Hi, um, my name is Chris. Um, I'm a nurse here, and um, can you tell me what the problem is? I'm in so much pain from my surgery. Oh, what did you? Um, have you been using the pump? Yeah, I, I keep clicking it, but I don't know if it's working. It still it hurts so much. Okay, yeah, you probably um, exceeded it. We probably need to give you something stronger. Um, can you tell me the pain on a, a scale of 1 to 10? It's a, it's a 10. A 10? Mm -hmm. Okay, and can you tell me um, where it is located? Well, it's mainly where I have my surgery. Like, okay, okay. Does it um, radiate anywhere else? No. Okay, that, I can tell that you're in a lot of pain. Um, I just went through surgery myself, so I know what it's like. The doctor's gonna come in. I'm not allowed to prescribe meds, so he's gonna take a look at you, and I'm pretty positive he's gonna give you something better. Okay, thank you so much. But, um, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, thank okay. you. I heard that you're in a lot of pain, and your PCA pump isn't really helping you out anymore. Yeah, I I'm just gonna take a look at oh. your, I'm gonna take a look at Okay, yeah, I can I can tell you definitely are having a tolerance to this medication. Yeah. So I'm gonna go write you a prescription for something that will hopefully help that a little more, oh, and okay. then I'll have your wonderful nurse reassess and let me know how it's working for okay, you. Okay, great. All right, thanks, thanks, Doc. Come in. Hello, how are we doing today? I'm, are, I'm, are we doing any better? No, not any better yet. Okay, did the um. I got the prescription from the doctor. Okay. Um, how's the pain? Is it, it any? It's a uh, ten still. Oh, it's still yeah. still pretty bad. Okay, I'm just going to give you this dilated. Oh, okay. Um, it should work really quick. Oh, great. That's so, that's great. So, um, how are you feeling? Is oh, it any better? Oh, I'm feeling so much better. I, the pain is like practically gone. Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I feel so much better. It's very good. Um, so. Your pain is better. Um, if you need any more, just let me know, and um, your call light's going to be right there. And oh, okay. Everything should be good in the pump. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. I feel so much better. Yeah, no problem. So I'll see you. Over home. Bye. Resolve the conflict between nurse and client, and um, assess the patient or the presence of conflict. And um, for the bad, I gave her false reassurance. And um, I discredited her her feelings, and um, 
so I just kind of shrugged it off. I was kind of being rude. And um, I told her that everything was going to be okay when it really wasn't. And um, I didn't really assess what kind of pain she was in. And, um, and then her mutual, there was no really mutual resolution. I just told her that, again, everything was going to be okay. And um, <clears throat> so that was the bad. So um, I went in there and I acknowledged therapeutically what um, her pain was. So I kind of assessed her and um, I was more caring. So I assessed her on a, pill, on a scale of 1 to 10, where it radiated and um, how bad it was. And then I emphasized um, that I had a surgery and I knew what it felt like to be in her position. And then I also, the um, patient had a positive response, so the doctor came in, prescribed meds. Then I came in and um, gave her the uh, medication, and everything was okay. And um, I told her that if she needed anything else, I would be right there. So, yeah, that's it.